So, what does this mean to you? Uh, well, as a guy of a certain age, uh, I, I'll try to relate it to you in terms of how the interactions work with uh, different age groups of women. So, a uh, middle-aged guy like me, how does pheromones help me with 20-somethings? Well, uh, what I would have to say is you don't really know the meaning of the word invisible until you're a middle-aged guy trying to get the attention of 20-something uh, uh, women. Uh, you are totally invisible, totally off the radar. So what the pheromone products have been able to do for me is to get positive interactions with those women, meaning that uh, before they didn't even know I was in the room, if I'm using pheromones, they know I'm in the room. And the other thing that they know is that uh, there's something about me that they think is interesting. They know by looking at me that I'm way too old for them, but there's something about me that's different in an appealing sort of way. And so I tend to get smiles, I tend to get eye contact with them, and uh, if they're serving me in some way in a restaurant or coffee shop or whatever, uh, they're perfectly willing to chat me up. And uh, this is opposed to not very willing to do those sorts of things if I'm not wearing pheromones. So how does this work for 30-something women? Well, I've used these pheromone colognes, and particularly with Shakara, and had been sitting in a restaurant, uh, sitting in a coffee shop, sitting in a bar, and have had several uh, mid-30s women initiate conversations with me. And uh, that uh, is always a very pleasant thing. And a lot of times, if I am wearing it, I may be feeling particularly confident, feeling particularly good, and just kind of be there and radiate a certain amount of confidence, which is pretty easy to do when you're using the pheromones, and uh, just see what happens. See who notices me, see what kind of reactions I get. And as I said, uh, you will find that uh, a 30-something lady will probably initiate uh, conversations with you. In terms of women in their 40s and how they relate to me when I'm using pheromones, uh, that is for me sort of the uh, uh, the sweet spot. <laughs> of course, they have a lot of sweet spots, but what I mean by that is I have successfully uh, met and gotten to know, had very nice conversations with, and had very intimate relations with uh, women who are in their 40s. Uh, and for me, that's uh, that's a younger woman. I think if I were really try to pursue it uh, with someone in their 30s, I could probably make that happen. And the 20-somethings, uh, I'm just kind of uh, uh, an older guy, uh, a good-looking, sexy, handsome, perhaps older guy, which, <laughs> of course, is the pheromones talking. It's not me. So just wanted to give you a reality check. It's not like you're going to go out there wearing this stuff if you're my age and have 20-somethings. Uh, unzipping you in, uh, in an elevator. That kind of stuff doesn't work. Uh, it hasn't worked for me, it might for you. Uh, but just wanted to give you an idea of how things really uh, are working with these products. So as always, I uh, appreciate talking to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, go to the website, www.thelovestroke.com. Bye.